Hey guys, here they are, the new Holly EGTs. Uh, these just came out. I had made this video and the memory card that I made this video with decided to crash, so I lost it. So this is a little bit different than the first video I made on these, but um, you'll get the, the gist of it. So here they are, these are the probes. These are new from Holly, these are the CAN bus EGTs. And what we got, uh, we're starting here over here at the car because I've already got them installed in the car. And I want to explain to you how to set depth into the, the header tube. And uh, also to kind of show you that they all are cut to length. So if you look up here, you'll see that every, the, you know, one is shorter than the next and shorter than the next. They're, they're made for, you know, a V8 engine and all of your leads to be going back into one spot and to be joining in the same area. These connectors are not from Holly, so disregard these. Uh, I, I put these on here. I'm going to show you what the connectors look like from Holly. But, um, but first we're going to talk about how to set your depth so that you actually have some accurate EGT readings. So if you look closely here, um, I've got a inch and seven eighths header tube, right? So this is how I've done these. and. I've done quite a few EGT setups on many different cars. And what I do with every single one of them is I always take an outside diameter measurement of the header tube. Okay? So, I've got an outside diameter measurement of 1.950 inches. And what we do is we take 1.950, we divide it by 2 so we can find the center which is uh, 0.975 from the outside of the tube is the center of the tube. We then take a measurement right here on the weld ferrule that goes on the header, okay? And they are 0.625 that come up off of the header, which gives us a grand total of 1.6 inches. So we know that from the top of this weld ferrule to the center of the tube is 1.600 inches. So what I like to do is I rig up a little something to wedge in here to keep this 1.60 or to keep the center of the probe 1.60 inches in the center. So uh, one of the easier ways to do that is a little bit of math and you come up with the ability, we just kind of got lucky here, that this lands from the curve to the base of the pipe at uh, 1.600 inches. So you want to keep the depth of this probe center in the tube and you want to keep them all uniform. And the reason being is if you move one in deeper or out further, your numbers are going to be way off. Uh, just measure them, if you measure them all uniformly, even if they're not centered, even if you just know, hey, I'm only going to go a quarter of the way in, uh, just make sure that they're all uniform, right? So some of the big block cars that I've done in the past, they've got, you know, two and a half inch primaries and the probe isn't long enough to get into the center. So I do a little bit of math and come up with a depth that's going to be accurate amongst all of them. So that's one of the most important things and one of the, one of the uh, most overlooked things when it comes to EGTs. So you get your probe, they're marked, Holly EFI. Uh, I just put a little piece of heat shrink on them over here. They, they come with blue um, heat shrink here. I, I'm picky, so I just put black over top of it um, <clears throat> just because I wanted everything to match. But what you want to do is you're going to route them all to a central location so that you can plug them all in. So let's go take a look at all the plugs for them from, from Holly. So, what we got is, this is the CAN bus EGT amplifier box from Holly, okay? So, I'll make sure to link the product page and there'll be a lot more detailed pictures and whatnot on there. Um, better pictures, I should say. And what this is, is all eight EGTs, there we go, turn on some light. All eight EGTs come into this box and then it outputs to your CAN bus, okay? So the way this is gonna come, 
and I've got this apart because I changed some things because I'm, I'm fancy. Uh, the way this, this comes is it's two leads so that you mount this if you wanted to in the engine bay somewhere. And these connectors, your typical K-type thermocoupler connector, is going to be the end of each, EG, each EGT. So what you'll do is you'll match them up to the associated cylinder, right? So right here we've got D, E, F, no, no, I'm sorry, E, F, uh, G, and H, right? So on a Ford, this would be on the driver's side. And, uh, you know, we would look at E as cylinder number five. So you would plug this into cylinder number five, right? And you all, the only connection you have to actually make is plugging these in like this and plugging in your CAN bus into the back of your seven inch dash or into uh, either one of the CAN connectors off of the, like the 12 inch dash or your main harness. If you plug it directly into the main harness and the EGT is the only thing in the CAN circuit, comes with this little um, terminating resistor plug, right? So you need to use that. Plug that in and everything will work fine. I'm going to show you how to set these up uh, in the software, but as far as hardware goes, it's really very plug and play. I mean, extremely, extremely plug and play. So each EGT lead is going to have one of these on it, and you'll see it in the pictures. And you just match up to each according cylinder, right? So, uh, you know, you got passenger side and you can have driver side. These, these numbers or these letters are not really that important. Just write down that E is going to be cylinder five. And... Uh, you know, it, the F is going to be cylinder six or whatever orientation you have, just write it down. You dig through some papers here. Uh, thought I had them on me, but uh, the, I'll, I'll dig up the instructions here in a second. So it, these all come terminated, right? It all comes on the same style uh, plug that's on the main harness that plugs into your ECU. So this literally plugs in. Everything just plugs in. You plug it into your CAN circuit. Something I want to show you. If you want to shorten any of these leads, okay? So I had to shorten a few of them so it would land in my bulkhead the way I wanted it. If you want to shorten any of these leads, this is the only, only time that red is negative, okay? So red's actually negative. So this is really hard to see. This, this video camera is probably not going to pick it up, but... Here, let me flake some of that off. You can kind of see red is actually negative. Um, whatever. Buy them, and you'll see red is actually terminated to the negative. So remember that red is negative, okay? So don't get confused and hook up red to positive. Red is actually negative. So here's the actual instructions that come with it. I'm making this video because y'all will buy this and then... You won't read them. So uh, the, the instructions are great. They give you setup um, info and whatnot. But uh, this is the part that you really need to pay attention to. And this is, this is how I did it, right? So yellow, it's all your positives. And if you, if you can see on this, so uh, thermocoupler A or cylinder one, yellow positive right and this is the pin that it's in so if you're familiar with holly you've you've um you've seen these these diagrams before and uh this is kind of a diagram of how the connector looks when it's all terminated and i didn't already pull it apart <laughs> so unfortunately my old video is gone so we uh we don't get to see that but this is about as easy of an egt kit that i've installed and this is uh this is big because this is CAN bus, so for me, I'm, I have a dominator, but I'm physically out of inputs. And you guys with the HPs, this doesn't take up any in inputs. This goes right into your HP, right into the CAN bus, and you program the software. Um, very straightforward, which we're about to get to, but this will work with the HP ECU. 
So I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure that this is going to work also with the Terminator X. I'm pretty positive it will. So, uh, but we'll find that out shortly. The, uh, can, again, CAN bus, if it's the only thing in the CAN network, use the Terminator resistor. If it's not, it'll plug into your existing 7-inch dash or one of your, uh, one of your, you know, existing can jumper harnesses. And that's all I got for this overview. Now we're going to go look at some software. All right. So we went over the hardware of the EGT setup. Now let's go over the software part of it and the programming. So you are in your global folder here and the, uh, the first thing I, that I always tell everybody to do anytime they hook up any type of CAN device is go to your basic I.O. Click over here CAN bus. Make sure that both your CAN bus types match what you have plugged into them, right? So uh, just, you know, poly standard for, you know, both of them for my application. But, uh, you know, if you have a race pack dash or something and, and the other one, um, you know, make sure that they're they're accurate. So we need to create the inputs for them. So we, the wiring part's already done because it's been plugged into CAN bus, but we need to create the inputs. So click I slash O, bring up your inputs. We're going to go to this page because everything else is full on mine. And we need to start naming them, right? So EGT1, it's going to populate. Here, what you're going to do is populate all eight of them, all right? So just type in all eight cylinders. And we're only going to do like one or two of these just so you guys get the idea. Um, but you'll understand after the first couple. So enable it. Type. Is going to be can okay it's going to say the input type has changed and has reset some config parameters please check them if applicable okay so we're going to go in here and we're going to configure so the type right here it's not an accelerometer scroll to the bottom and holly egt so this all pre-populates as to where we want it right uh the can device is EGT8 channel, right? The CAN channel, so remember that those those uh, those letters that were on all the plugs, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So the way I wired this is, or the way I plugged this in is uh, channel A is cylinder one, and that's what we're working on, right? So EGT1 up here, channel A, cylinder one. And this CAN bus right here, CAN bus one, is you, you have to, know which one you're plugged into. So if you have an HP, you only have CAN bus 1. If you've got a dominator on the, I believe, J2, or no, the J3 harness, you have CAN bus 2. So this is plugged into CAN bus 1. And then CAN serial is a uh, three or four digit number on the back side of your, um, your, your can amplifier okay so the the egt amplifier box has a serial number you just key that serial number in here and you're done uh the only setup that you need to do so the serial number on mine is 0308 and you just go back and enable can okay configure so again, we just do the same thing over and over again. EGT, CAN device, EGT8 channel, CAN channel. We're working on cylinder number two, so we're in channel B. We're on CAN bus one, and then 0308. Just go straight down the list. So, here we go, here we go. I know I'm clicking kind of fast, but you should you'll get the hang of it, you know, after you do one or two of them, it's you know, muscle memory here. So again, always reference up here, right? EGT3, Canvas Channel C. And then 
make sure that you put your serial number in each one of them. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch back over to the uh, regular camera. I'm going to show you some live data with them and, uh, so, and you know how to populate them in a screen view on your dash and how to, uh, you know, some indicators that actually light up on the, the, uh, the actual amplifier box. So give me a second. We'll be right back. All right, so we got the software all set up, all the hardware is done, everything's plugged in. It's ready to rock and roll, so we're going to do a first fire up and sync to the ECU. So, there, don't mind my car, it's all apart. And this is a temporary mount, but there's a little box right there, EGT box. So, what we're going to do is fire the car up, or we'll fire the uh, ignition up, and you'll see there's eight indicating LEDs on here. If you unplug, anything it'll tell you that there something's missing and it's uh, corresponding numbers one through eight so they match you know your ABCD plugs so turn it on here we go don't mind that little beep that's my rear view mirror thing I'm sure everybody's gonna ask me about it there it is there's the front view there's a the rear view anyway so EGT is on. We're going to sync the ECU. Let's go online. Okay, here they are. There's EGTs right around 69, 70 degrees. Uh, it's about accurate in my garage here. Uh, disregard oil temp. I have to rescale that sensor. I'm using a new sensor that I didn't really have much data on. So um, that's it. That's them. So quick overview. CAN bus. There it is. This is the loose side of the connector coming off. You can kind of see it right there. There's the CAN bus connector. And oh, I pulled this one out too. This is where it ties in. This is into the uh, into the pro dash. So, um, just a little note: if you have a pro dash, your pro dash does not get power through the can plug like the seven-inch dash does. So, you'll have to actually tie in uh, power and ground into the can connector. So, if if you've got a pro dash and you know you're you're hooking up EGTs. Um, feel free to shoot me a message and I'll, uh, I'll snap some pictures on how I did it and whatnot, but real, really all it is is just, you know, cutting open a, uh, can connection harness and cutting open power and ground and, um, tapping into wherever you supplied your power and ground from for the 12.3 Pro Dash because the 12.3 Pro Dash gets power separately from the can connector. So that's that. My car's a mess right now, so you know, kind of bear with me. As you can see, it's missing some stuff right now. Um, doing a cam change, it was supposed to be here yesterday. It's still not here. So, there they are. There's the EGTs. I've been anxiously awaiting these things for a long time, and I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, I'm gonna show you if we disconnect one bank. Look at that. Hey, we got a problem. So, uh, those indicators are kind of nice to be able to tell if you've got, you know, loose wire or something came unplugged or whatnot. But uh, again, those connectors do not come with it. So, do not expect a $400 connector set to come along with a set of EGTs. So, that's all I got, guys. These things are awesome. Um, you guys are the HPs should be pretty amped about this because now you can add EGTs to your HP ECU and your input count doesn't matter. So have a good one. See ya.